Good morning, good morning. We're a little ahead of noon, so we'll just let it settle. If you're replaying, you can jump forward or you can just pause a moment and see if in that pause you can be still. And see if in that stillness You can soften your face and your shoulders. That in that softening, there's a melting of habit and with it habit of mind and habit of heart. Feel the breath on the front of your body. Feel the breath at the back of your body. The ways in which we are invited into the front, into the back, the left and the right, the top and the bottom, we can experience ourselves internally more fully. that any consideration of the heart includes a consideration of the breath. Softening the upper arms, the forearms, the fingers. If you don't have the playlist, load it up. We've got Anahata for Anahata on my Spotify, you can pick that up, you can load that up, there's plenty of time. If you're using your oil, you're gonna take your oil, where am I going? Habit, Manipura, (laughs) down the line of the chest, the sternum, right? And then just a finger's width below the crease where the heel of your hand meets your wrist, You'll see there's a crease in your skin where it folds. And then if you put the finger and just below that, right, there's a, you'll feel it's the real, the meat of the muscle and the tendon there. And once you've put some oil, even if you don't have it, just rubbing the base part of the wrists together and then pausing. And again, softening the face, softening the body, releasing the armor to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right. We're looking for a a sensation of spaciousness around the heart. And the sensation of spaciousness will then offer us a sensation of perspective shift. There's a little more space around your decisions and then just let it rest. And so in the past 24 hours, a good deal has shifted for me. And this is a very, very practical sequence. It's a very noticeable sequence. And what I'm offering you is the opportunity to keep expanding. This is your largest electromagnetic charge. This is the way in which you perceive the world and the way the world perceives you. This is the home of the, the, the aura, the charge that surrounds you, emanates from the heart in all directions. And so two people very close to me, who I love dearly, who I trust, we just had a hard go of it for old reasons. And my instinct is to close. If you think about someone that you run up against and how the temptation is to physiologically protect. 
And it really came to a place that in that physiology, I just, it just felt better to curl in. It felt more familiar. It felt safe. And in that, I felt myself responding to a text by saying, maybe it's best if we just don't have contact. And that's always an option. And in some cases, I have made space for a year, for two, for there were family members. I needed space so that we could have a boundary that was built by time and intention. And I believe that no contact can be useful. But in this, this was me being afraid. This was me being hurt. This was me trying to retract. So what I needed was to come back into the sensation of our sequence and to, to find the strength at the abdomen, to find my seat, to find my stance, to find my existence, to find my place in the world, and to say, I am not here to shrink from you. I still trust you, but I trust myself more and I know you cannot harm me until I choose. We made space, we made time, we gave it time, we didn't make contact, we set a time and said, let's come back into contact in 12 hours. And in that time, I very, very, very gently but consistently worked to open this space. And we had a really solid exchange this morning which I couldn't have made from here. So we have 40 days to unpack so many old ways that have served us to this point and we say thank you and we decide is there another way and we let our bodies change, we let our breathing change, we let our power and our amplification shift our choices and our words. That is the work of Anahata. I become that which chooses what permeates me, what changes me, anahata, unhurt, unstruck. My mind is full of stories and fears and projections. I mature and I decide. I see your perspective. You may not hurt my feelings. That's a powerful place. I can apologize from here. I can make a boundary from here. Work from here. Clear it, elevate it, strengthen it. Then some new choices can come through. Palms together. Onganamo, I bow to everything outside of me, guiding me, healing me, holding me. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to everything inside of me, rising to meet it all. We are elevated. Three times, join in or listen. Inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Roll your shoulders, roll your wrists, shake it out, coming in, getting it done. So Anahata begins, Natrolesa, and we start it up. Hmm. For three, (laughs) coming to stand. Good, good. We'll take your hands overhead. We'll take the hands down, we'll take the hands overhead, and then we'll fold. So it goes inhale, 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 exhale. In, 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 out. So with this three inhales and moving the arms, we are coming into a very different breath. Mm. 
If it's too fast, slow it down. Find your rhythm, find your body. Changing our breath, changing our movement. Getting a little taller, opening the abdomens, grounding into the legs, taking a stand. Three, two, one more. Feel the chest space, the arms, shake out the feet and the hands. You'll draw one elbow back, one hand out, and a little bend in the knees. Your elbow going back is as important as the hand going forward. So you're turning from the navel, you're turning from the feet, right through the spine. Each one's an exhalation. X, 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 X. Find your rhythm, find your body. Becoming stronger, that you have the next 20 seconds, stay right with it. We're building courage. Three, two, One, draw both elbows back, inhale, chin up, three more, and then the heart up, the chin in, toes up, elbows back, legs strong, and out and down. Out the hands, out the feet, hands up, palms to touch, knees soft, fold left, and up. So if you have tight hamstrings, tight low back, then you go past the knee or the shin. A little more space, keep the knees soft, fingertips to the floor. Or as your fold evolves, ribs to thigh, palms to the floor. Inhale up, exhale down. Can you empty the mind by following the breath, by feeling the body?
steady all the way through. One more each side. Inhale, three sips. Heart up, chin in. Heels down, legs long, reaching up, little shimmy. Widen out, exhale. In your mind, repeat, I am a being of light. I am created in light, supported in light, and guided in light. I am a being of light. If that's the time you have, that is fantastic reset for Anahata. Come back into your heart. Stand up for what you believe in. Make space for your power to come through or come down. On the floor, this next part, we build the seat, the hips, and the strength. So knees bent, feet flat, arms may be wide or by your side. And you will begin with a circle. So keeping your knee bent, Circle your leg. And just feel that circle in the depth of your hip socket, how that starts to change your low back, how it alters your rib, your lung, working there or extending your leg, circle out. And just explore the outer hip, the inner thigh, the breath grows all the way into the ball of your foot, the spaces between your toes. To reverse your direction. And again, start with the knee bent. Start at the base of the joint. Think about circling the kneecap and how that affects everything else on that side body. And as you're ready, the leg extends. Open into the ball of your foot. <sighs> Three, becoming more deliberate with your circle, more intentional too. And foot to the floor. Opposite knee circles. Start in the joint. Explore through the hip into the knee and then extending into the foot and the toes. Feel how that begins to change through the diaphragm and the shoulder. Bending your knee reverse direction back down into the joint. how it affects all the way up into your jaw, into the space behind your ear. And then circling the heel as your leg extended, how it changes the field around your body. The back of the neck may lengthen, the spine may lengthen, you may need to walk the back of your head a little half step away from the hips because you're getting longer, arms are getting longer. For three, we are all interconnected sheets of tissue. Open the hip and open the body. Good, two heels up. Sweep your legs wide, bring them together and zip up the center. If you need to, knees are bent. If you need to, hands to shins or knees, help yourself out. Or as you're able, roll the hips a little bit off the floor and open the low back. One more. 
reverse direction. Take your time, find your way in. Remembering that with these movements, you are building your seat so that if you can take your seat, then our Kriya for the heart is stabilized. Excellent. Excellent. Knees down. Right hand behind your head, left hand overhead. Right heel out to the right corner of the mat. Your kneecap points to the ceiling. Lift your head, shoulders, left hand taps your right heel, knee turns out. So exhale to tap, inhale to open, returning to the floor. Little tip of the tail, low back to the floor. Feel the rotation of your right thigh. Lead with your inner thigh towards your left shoulder. And then keep that tap and add crossing the left behind the right. So left foot down, inhale open and rise. Tap your heel, cross your left ankle, and then inhale open. So we go exhale, tap, X to cross, in, left foot down, in, right foot down. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, change sides. So left hand behind your head, right arm out, left heel long. Rising up, turn your knee left, right hand to tap the heel. Inhale, open, exhale, roll up. Use the inhale to reach your right hand away from your left heel. Good. Keep that. Cross your right behind your left and then down and open and tap and cross and down and open. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, X, X. One more. Good. Feet down, arms wide, pause. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Right hand to your right thigh, press away. Left hand wide. Soften your jaw, soften your face. As though making space in your right hip joint, dropping your left shoulder, feeling that there is space, that there is length available to your connective tissue, giving yourself the ability to release skillfully and continuously. Right foot to the floor, left ankle over the right knee, left hand to left thigh, right hand overhead, open the left hip joint. If it needs to, it moves side to side. If it needs to, it moves forward and back. This is yours. But we hold tension, and we hold armor, and we hold history in our hips. And you can feel yourself changing at a very anatomical level as we make space in the pelvis. Knees to your chest, you'll roll up, widen your heels. So you sit on the edge of your blanket or your bolster so your heels can move out. And we'll set a block lengthwise in front and move from side to side. Inhale, reaching, exhale at center. So we inhale, reach out, and exhale, change. And there's duration and steadiness. And in the duration of these movements, we're building the ability to stay with it. The heart is not flighty. 
He doesn't want to jump from thing to thing. Good. And into the center, left shin crosses in front of right. Right hand down, left hand down, a little bit side to side. So maybe on your forearms, maybe on your hands, you can walk your hands out, folding down. Putting your right hand or your right forearm on the block, sweep your left up and open. And then the left forearm or hand in front of the right. Inhale, sweep open, fall back. Exhale, curl back in. And keeping your arm down, pause, fold for three. Feel how the left side waist, left ribs are a little elongated compared to the right now. You're just making space in the chest. Rise up, change the cross so your right shin is in front of your left. Left hand is down. Let's fold a minute first. So hands may be on the block, hands may be on the floor, elbows may be on the block, or elbows may be on the floor. <sighs> so that opens the backs of the hips and the seat. Left hand or forearm to the block, right hand sweeps open, and the right forearm crosses in front of the left and we fold. And so from the backs of the hips, we start to Explore up the right side of the low back, the right waist, the right ribs, just falling back and folding back in. Up into the pectoral muscles of the right chest, the right armpit, the right fingertips. And stay. Walk yourself up, legs are crossed, heart is high. Hands on thighs, circle in your seat. <coughs> so, excuse me, take all the movements and twists and stretches and smooth them out. From the seat into the belly, from the belly into the ribs, from the ribs into the shoulders and the face. Change the cross of your legs. Change the direction of your circle. And then move a little more. Where can your spine go? What can it take with it? Rising tall, clearing that central channel. Three. Two. And pause, tall, inhale, chin up, three more sips, fill the collarbones. Tuck your chin, heart is high, spine is tall, seat is heavy and steady. Your attention rising up the central channel of your body. Lift your chin and release the breath. Chin drops, pause and notice. Notice the change. 
the clarity that you've provided. So now as the energy of your heart grows, it's not moving into habitual holding or openings. It is moving into new, clear, balanced territory. A whisper of ha. Close your lips, out the nose. That's the breath. Keep it steady. Add the arms. Small, low circles. Eyes closed. We go. Let the arms get bigger. Soften your face and your jaw. Clear the shoulders, clear the elbows, clear the fingertips, the upper back. Use your seat as your anchor. Make it big or make it small, but begin to find a steadiness. We're going to get a little bit quicker. One minute right here. If you have shoulder issues, hands stay lower than your head. And just roll your way through this. Clear. Hands up, inhale, three sips. Rise up through that central channel, right to the top of your head, lift your chin, breathe out, elbows bend, hands come down. Notice the space around you. Invite a sensation of elevation. And with that elevation, an invitation to intelligence, to eminence, to radiance, to increase, to safety, to strength, onto your back. Bring a block with you. Good. As you come down, knees bend, wag your tail, press your thighs away. So that seat can make tension in our low back. Draw your left knee in, interlace your fingers, keep it close, right leg long, just inhale up and down. If you need to, the knee is bent, we just go 10 times. Stabilize the back of your body. Feel yourself very intentional, very clear. Foot flex, toes spread. Everything you built in the last sequence, it is here for you right now. 
change sides, right knee to your chest, hold the shin, left leg long, and move. So clear the legs. Clear the hinge of the hip. Feel the back of your head, the back of your shoulders. You are deliberate. Not a haphazard experience of living, but one that is absolutely by design. Heel down two feet flat. Take your block, set it between your thighs. You're holding the block. Heels are under your knees. Stand your heels down to lift your hips up, hands up. Tuck a shoulder, tuck another, and then elbows down beside you. So this will be your inhale. Roll your spine down. This will be exhale. We will rise and fall. Start out small. Start small. That as you press your heels down and you press your elbows down, can you simply lift your heart away from your heels? On your inhale, lift your heart with your breath. Broaden your collarbones with your breath. Spread your fingers wide. Stand in your feet. Close your eyes. And then stand in your feet a little bit more involving your legs. Holding that block. The whole posture lights up. You lift your heart with your breath. You stand in your feet. Roll through your spine. The exhale, you are removing old patterns of the spine, old patterns of the ribs. Keep being rearranged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Use your heels, use your legs. And as you roll down, set the block aside. Palms open, heels wide, knees in. Receiving the change. Rolling your way up. This is where we allow each posture to fit one against the other. Find your seat. You may be cross legs or you may be on a chair. Chair is fantastic. It allows your heart to be high. If you are rounding at all, this set is not going to serve you. It's a great set to do on a chair. On Monday, I will use the chair and show you more. Ready? Fingertips to the shoulders. A little left, a little right. Start small, start soft. Ah. Ah. Inhale left, exhale right, in and out through the nose. From the stability of your seat, turn from your navel and soften your upper back. Soften the turn of your chin right to the tips of your elbows. And then let one wrist rise over the elbow and bring a little more height into the heart. All the way up into your fingertips. Five. Four, three, two, one. Palms together, go a little taller. Point your first fingers up and turn left, right. Inhale, left, exhale, right. Reach, heart up, chin in. Three, two. Find the center. Inhale, chin up, three sips, go. And widen, 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 widen down. Come to lay your belly down. 
Bring yourself onto the left side of your mat. Put your right arm wide and flat to the floor. Palm is in line with your shoulders. Left elbow bends. Roll to your right. Drop the right side of your head. Put your left foot to the floor. And with your eyes, just look. Is my left wrist under my left elbow? Is my left elbow straight out of my shoulder? So that when you land in your left hand and drop your head, huh, you can open the right side chest, right side palm. Rolling belly down will change sides. Walk your body to the right. Left hand wide, left palm down. We roll to the left side. Bend your right knee. Looking to your right elbow, is my right wrist underneath it? Is my right elbow in line with my right shoulder? And now can I soften, drop your head more fully? Find your breath all the way up into the left shoulder. And belly down. Good. Take your left fingertips out. Tuck your left toes under. So strong in the left leg that your left knee comes off the floor. Right hand to reach back. Reach straight back or hold your ankle to lift up. And then exhaling down. Inhaling up. And down. So you are standing your left heel on the ceiling. Good. We'll change sides. The right arm reaches out. The right toes tuck under. The left hand to reach back. Reach your left heel high and roll down. The right side keeps you stable and strong. The left side is soft. The left heel opens your left chest. Good. Bring your palms down beside you, tops of your feet flat. It's peeling to a cobra and roll down. Wag your tail, peel open and roll down. Bend your knees, reach your feet back, lengthen your legs to lift your heart. Bend your knees, drop your head, straighten your legs, lift your heart. So we're just moving the heart. We're rolling through the belly. We're feeling the whole front body getting a little stronger. The back body is lifting you up. One more. And hands and knees. Tuck your chin. Drop your head and hips side to side. <sighs> drop your head more. Walk your knees together. Shift your hips towards your heels. So knees together, feet together. Fold your way back, and this will lengthen out your low back. Good. Rising up. Turn back to your back. And we'll roll forward and back. If you can't roll back, feet stay on the floor and you just round and rise. Good, good. We will roll up to stand, plant your feet. Mm -hmm. Steady and tall, out the feet. So most modified knees bend and stand. You can place your hands on your thighs. You can put your palms together. So that's our modification. Hands to shoulders is next. Lastly, interlacing your hands at the base of your skull. Hips shift back. 
Knees track back over your heels as much as possible. And then it's up to you how deep is that squat going to go. Eight. Six. Two. And one. Stand tall, hands down, palms open. bring it down to your cross-legged seat finish it there so the cross-legged seat may be on a chair it may be on your blanket i just want you to find your that central channel find the spine find the sushumna this axis of energy And a whisper of ha, the way we began. Soft like a whisper. Feel the belly move. Eyes closed. When you're ready, same breath. Lips together, out the nose. This is our breath, keep it light, keep it soft. You're making clarity. Add the circle, so keep it low. Circling the elbows, circling the shoulder joints, right out the fingertips as though you were tossing petals in the air. This circle is a gift. How much love can you bestow on yourself, on the space around you? on the life ahead of you, on the choices behind you. As you're ready, it grows. But it is so beautifully changed from our first circles. Let it be loose, let it be glorious, give it an expression Move in the way you want to live. Remove the limits. Clear the way. You are an infinite being. Let it quicken, let it loosen, 30 seconds. How do you wanna live today? What does it feel like at the very center of this motion? how steadfast, how still your heart is and how vast and mobile and powerful your field is. You are everything and in your freedom you are nothing. Be both.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Hands up high. Inhale. Chin up. Three sips. Heart up. Chin in. Pause. Elevate yourself. Energy rising up the center channel. Behind the heart, behind the head, crown of the head, chin up, breath out, elbows down, stay tall. You are an action of increase, an eminence, a radiance, a blessing. Let your attention and your awareness land in your chest. Feel that. Let it get a little bigger internally, a little more trustworthy. a little more important. And a little softer. And a little softer. All the way in. All the way home. Pause your playlist. But there is a new truth. I am this has changed from when we began. And this is the one to believe. The heart is high and clear. Sat is truth. Kartar is she or he or they who does, who acts. Sat kartar. May I act in truth. May truth be the legacy I leave with each choice. Sat Kartar. To add to this mantra, we add gesture, palms together, Sat. Palms face forward, Kar. Palms press away, Tar. Sat Kartar. Sat Kar, tar, sat, kar, tar. Good. Find your rhythm. Find your words. If this creates tension across the tops of your shoulders, I want you to keep your hands quite low, your elbows bent, and that will help. Or as you have more space, hands a little higher, arms extending out. This is yours. You are opening the heart and filling it with sound. Sat kar tar. 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 Sat kar par. 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 Sat kar 
par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par, sat kar par. Sat kar par. Sat kar. Press away the boundaries. Press away the limits. Press away the habits. Come into the doing of your truth. And very often the doing of our truth is larger than we imagine, is a little bit more daring than we're familiar or comfortable with. Press into the palms. You've got 10 more. Tar, sat, kar, tar. It is a declaration. It is an arrival. It is a boundary. It is an expansion. Tar, sat, kar, tar. Sat, kar, tar. Sat, kar, tar. Sat, kar, tar. One more. Sat, kar, tar. Hands down to notice. That with that gesture, you're clearing the way to receive. That you could receive my words reminding you of your magnificence. You're clearing the way to let your love through because love is the name we give to truth in action. I see you. I honor you. I love you. Let it get big and sturdy, accepting. Let it hold a high standard. Let it elevate us all. I love. I am safe within this love from source to me, from me to source, from me to you. If you choose, stay seated. If you choose, lie back. Shavasana, just three minutes. Soak it in. Receive. If you choose, one last track. It will be motif. Make yourself comfortable. Legs out long. Arms by your body. Don't miss it. Receive.
receive a little more. Soften a little more. Let the day further into your life. Receive. And bring yourself back to your cross-legged upright posture as you're ready. If you have time and you want to stay, stay. We're arriving tall. Sweep wide. Reach up. Palms together, thumbs to the center of your forehead. I am this. Eight count sat, two count non. Inhale. So. Nothing is possible without love. When we make something possible, we call it through with an action. But that desire for it to be real, to show up, to be a part of who we are, it comes into our field and the bigger we make our field, the more generative we can be, the more we are makers, the bigger we make our field, the more we can receive. The bigger we make our field, the more trust we can exchange. This is love. It is large and participatory and important. Welcome to Anahata. You are large and important. And I am grateful for your time. Tomorrow morning will be vinyasa and we will keep opening the front body. Keep opening the front body. Keep finding our way out of our armor. If you have the playlist, let it go running Right now we have a hidden track, just keeps us company. And as it concludes, it will take you to a Beyonce song. And as you put your things away, I want you to hear that song. Take it with you. You're part of something bigger. I'll be back tomorrow at 9.30. I'll be back on Sunday at 8. I'll be in the park at 10.30. I will see you, my love.